Travel and tourism are widely expected to roar back since there is a vaccine against COVID-19. In fact, the media has already coined the term revenge travel to describe the wave of tourism that is expected to sweep the U.S. in the coming months. Once all the pent-up vacation demand is let loose and people splurge on big trips they were forced to put on hold during the pandemic. Here we look at seven travel stocks that investors should consider buying. Number one, Southwest Airlines. If there is one airline stock that will for sure benefit from a surge in vacation travel, it is Southwest Airlines, the world's largest low-cost carrier. In early September, Morgan Stanley analyst Ravi Shankar issued a forecast that said airline stocks should rally an average of 30% over the next year, with Southwest Airlines offering the best risk-reward for investors. In fact, Shankar rated Southwest as his top airline stock, assigning it an overweight rating and a $54 price target. LUV stock currently trades at just under $40 per share. Airlines such as Southwest that are most exposed to leisure and tourism markets should see demand return first and perform best over the next year, according to the Morgan Stanley report. And Southwest Airlines seems to be gearing up for revenge tourism to go in full swing. The carrier announced on September 3rd that it is initiating year-round flights to the vacation hotspots of Palm Springs, California, and Miami, Florida. The company is also offering a number of discounts and incentives to would-be travelers now through 2021, including flights to Hawaii for $99 one way, plus 6,864 rapid rewards points each way. Southwest Airlines is not only positioning itself for a rebound in tourism, it is leading the charge. Number 2. Expedia Look no further than Expedia for a pure travel play. The online travel shopping company is focused exclusively on customer and small business travel, and its share price has been improving in recent months as expectations for revenge travel grow. EXPE stock has more than doubled to $93.80 a share since March, and the company is already benefiting as travel slowly starts to gather steam. To be sure, the company is not taking things lying down. In the last six months, the company has consolidated its brand, moved operations to the cloud, and reduced its dependence on performance marketing such as Google searches in favor of more direct-to-consumer relationships via its own apps and reward programs. The company estimates that it has achieved $500 million in cost savings during the pandemic. The changes have resulted in a leaner, meaner Expedia that is ready to capitalize on the return of travel and tourism. EXPE stock looks relatively cheap at its current price, considering that it is still 33% below its 52-week high of $139.88 a share. As Americans begin searching for vacation destinations again, you can expect them to turn to Expedia, and for the company's revenues and share price to trend higher in the process. Number 3. Airbnb Airbnb Inc. Nasdaq's ABNB is a San Francisco-based company that connects users that want to book lodging for tourism, vacation, and other purposes with those renting places out. The company operates through a website and a mobile application. Airbnb went public in late December with a market cap of more than $86 billion. Share prices have since climbed even higher and the market cap of the firm is now valued at over $100 billion. In February, trading firm Susquehanna picked Airbnb as one of its top picks based on the first quarter earnings report of the company in 2021. The same day, investment bank Needham maintained a bullish view of the travel company stock with a buy rating and upgraded the price target to $225 from $220. At the end of the fourth quarter of 2020, 68 hedge funds in the database of InsiderMonkey held stakes worth of $1.6 billion in the firm. Number 4. TripAdvisor TripAdvisor is a Needham-based online travel company. The firm runs a website and mobile application that provide hotel reservations as well as bookings for travel and restaurants. TripAdvisor is famous for user-generated content that compares the travel experiences of different hotels, shopping centers, and eateries. The firm has a market cap of more than $6.7 billion and posted an annual review of $604 million in December 2020, down from more than $1.5 billion a year before as the pandemic hit the travel industry. However, with the company reopening, TripAdvisor is poised for a strong comeback. The company was founded in 2000 and is placed ninth on our list of 10 best travel stocks to buy right now. On March 2nd, Investment Advisory City upgraded TripAdvisor stock to buy from neutral and assigned it a price target of $62 based on a new subscription product the company was offering. City said the service could attract 10 million subscribers and create $1 billion in revenue for the travel firm. At the end of the fourth quarter of 2020, 41 hedge funds in the database of Insider Monkey held stakes worth $1 billion in the firm, up from 29 in the preceding quarter worth $716 million. Number 5. Royal Caribbean Cruises Another company whose stock will likely improve with the return of tourism is Royal Caribbean Cruises, the largest cruise line company by revenue in the world. 
The company controls 20%, one-fifth of the global cruise market, and people who like cruises tend to love them and go on them repeatedly. Royal Caribbean currently has 20 million members in its loyalty program. RCL stock jumped in August as the company announced what it calls remarkable bookings for its international cruises in 2021, noting that 60% of bookings are for entirely new cruises rather than rescheduled ones from last year. Shares of Royal Caribbean have recovered nicely from a low of $19.25 a share in March, rising 240% to just over $65 a share today. However, RCL stock still remains at about half its 52-week high of $132.32 a share that it was trading at before the pandemic left cruise ships, sitting idle in ports around the world. With the vaccine against COVID-19 expected within the first half of 2021, it won't be long before Royal Caribbean's fleet sets sail again and its share price moves higher. In the meantime, the company has plenty of cash on hand to weather the downturn in travel. The company ended its most recent quarter with about $4.1 billion in liquidity, having raised $6.5 billion in debt since the global pandemic began. Number 6. Disney We'll all be in a better place when we can safely bring our kids back to Walt Disney's theme parks. Not that we can't already. Disney has already reopened its parks in California and Florida, as well as in other parts of the world. However, the experience of visiting the Magic Kingdom during a pandemic is not quite the same. The various precautions and protocols put in place to keep people safe have both limited the number of people who can visit the theme parks and put a damper on the fun. Disney's parks, experiences, and product business category, which includes theme parks and resorts around the world, saw an 85% year-over-year decline in the most recent quarter and was the worst performing category of Disney's four business units. However, Disney sees brighter days ahead. The company said in early September that it plans to reopen half of its 53 hotels and resorts by the end of the year and forecasts increased visits to its theme parks heading into 2021. Disney also operates its own cruise line, which should get a boost when travel and tourism resumes. Disney's stock has risen nearly 50% from its March bottom to right around $130 a share today. A lot of the growth has been driven by the company's successful Disney Plus streaming service, which has proved popular as a family shelter in place. However, the theme parks, resorts, hotels, and cruises should play a bigger role in Walt Disney's performance once the pandemic is behind us. Price moves higher. In the meantime, the company has plenty of cash on hand to weather the downturn in travel. The company ended its most recent quarter with about $4.1 billion in liquidity, having raised $6.5 billion in debt since the global pandemic began. Number 7. Marriott International Last but certainly not least is Marriott International, the world's largest hotel chain. COVID-19 has been extremely hard on Marriott's business. Hotel occupancy rates in the U.S. stood at 37.6% in the second quarter of this year, according to the lodging consultant Amadeus Hospitality data. This means that more than 60% of hotel rooms remained vacant during the period. However, Marriott International has responded to the downturn and continues to adapt in innovative ways. Notably, the hotel proprietor has launched a new competitor to Airbnb called Marriott Homes and Villas, which is a luxury property rental service that provides customers with a private residence rather than a hotel room. Although it was launched in 2019 shortly before the global pandemic, Marriott Homes and Villas has proven to be quite successful, with bookings up by 700% over last summer and revenue up by more than 800%. Since the launch, the number of properties on the Marriott platform has grown fivefold from about 2,000 to more than 10,000. Marriott has also continued to expand and open new properties around the world despite the global pandemic. Once COVID-19 subsides and travel returns, Marriott should perform well. The company's stock has just about doubled since its March lows and is now trading at just under $90 a share. It should continue to strengthen as tourists book more vacations in the coming months. With all that said, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more videos on the top best stocks.